Hi guys, I'm back with the Hypercube. Today we're gonna look at this. No, just a joke. This obviously is a fail print, but we're gonna take a look at some thing you can do to deny those prints. Because we're gonna take a look at this little box and what's inside this box. It's a Raspberry Pi 3 and we're gonna hook it up to our Hypercube. Let's take a look inside the box of the Raspberry Pi 3 starter kit. We have the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B here. Tightly packed in a static bag. Nothing more to say about this. We have a case which looks pretty nice I think even with the logo on it. The bad thing I think is it doesn't have mounting holes. Would be really very really nice. Some neutral mounting holes where you can mount it to a wall or even to the frame would be very really good because this is an injection molded part. It's very nice and clean but in the end I might to have might have to print another one uh, to mount it to the frame. Then we have the power supply with different connectors for different countries. And then we have a SD card adapter with a micro SD card inside. And maybe you can read this. It says 16 gigabyte and noobs, so I would suggest noobs is pre-installed, but we have to take a look at this later on. What is missing inside this box is a connection from USB to your RAMs, but uh, this usually ships with your RAMs, so you might have one left over anyway, but you don't uh, want to miss this piece or you can connect the Raspberry Pi to your RAMs. So, I've unpacked the parts. Here is the naked Raspberry Pi and we're just gonna mount it right into the case. Pretty easy connect the side walls oh I love this clean design, no screws just clamping, it's awesome this is the power local area network, USB card reader in the back, put the top back on and we're ready to go. This is the card, let's connect it and let's go to the PC. So first of all we're going to octoprint.org slash download and download the Octopi 0 0.13. For the installation of the Octopi 0.13 you will need Etcher. This will flash the image of Octopi to your SD card. So I download Etcher, you can find the link to Etcher in the descriptions below. It's etcher.io. Then we are going to open Octopi, just pack it here, it's half a gigabyte. And then if it's complete, we are going to use Edger, select the image in the download ordner, open it 
and flash the SD card, which will take some time, I think. So, Etcher is complete, the flash is ready. We're now going to the drive through the SD card to the boot interface and select the Octopi network.txt. To set up the network for your Octoprint, just go to the Octopi minus network.txt. You can open it with the Windows editor if you like to. I will show you how you can clear this mess up here. Just have to watch out for the hashtags and then you can identify where to put your network settings. So I would suggest that this looks like this. If you do it like me, you don't have to install any further software. Just cleanly separate those lines with the hashtags. Until you reached the line what you need. For me, it's the WPA, WPA2 secured uh, network settings and you have to remove the hashtags at this line here and this line and this line. If you're using open uh, network settings or WEP secure network you will have to go down as I did uh, up here. So you just have to put your your network SSID, I don't know what it's called, so put your network in here, the name of your network, and then the password, it's like your password123, obviously, super secure, and then you just have to save it. And that's done. So then your Raspberry Pi with the installed Octopi should connect to your network. Uh, just a hint, I had an issue that my uh, network was on channel number 13, which is okay in Germany, but as I have read uh, in the US, channel number 12 and number 13 of your network uh, is not allowed, I think. So I went to my uh, router settings and switched the channel from channel 13 to channel 9. Um, not a big deal, you just have to look it up, otherwise your Octopi won't connect to your network because uh, it has channel 12 and 13 uh, disabled. There is a way to change this but I think the easiest way is just to switch up your channel of your network. If you've set up the network settings, your Octoprint should connect. You can check this in the command. Just try to ping ping Octopi. I've seen different videos where it was like ping octopi.local, which does not work for me. And so you can go to the browser and just type in HTTP, oops, octopi. If you don't misspell it and then your interface should open. You also can use the uh, IP address which is in here but it's kind of the same. 
I tried to figure out why uh, the standard HTTP Octopi dot local does not work for me. I cannot tell you really, but uh, you can try uh, different uh, addresses. So just try octopi dot local. Maybe you can try octopi dot lan. I've seen different things in the internet. Okay, it doesn't. <laughs> this shouldn't open. Uh, So this doesn't work either, but for me it's just Octopi and then the interface opens. If you open it for the first time, uh, a window will pop up so you can uh, input your login data, your username and password to protect the Octopi from um, other users. Whoops. So you're now logged in and if you connected your Raspberry Pi also with a camera, you can also instantly see the camera feed, which is very nice. After checking that the Raspberry Pi is alive, I connected the RAMs on the USB on the back side of the Raspberry Pi. The RAMs is hidden underneath uh, this clap. The power for the RAMs is coming from the Raspberry Pi USB. Um, as you can see the LCD is working. And I also connected my little webcam. I've got a Logitech C270. and. It did work without any installation, I just hooked it up and it was fine. You can see this little uh, blinking light here, the green light. If this is flashing, it says it's successfully connected to your network. So keep an eye on this. If it doesn't blink, you obviously have an error. Maybe your uh, network settings is not right or as said, your channel of your network is in the range of 12 or 13, which isn't supposed This video uh, comes to an end now and we will take a closer look into Octoprint uh, in the next series in part 2 of this video, where we will set up our printer and view uh, the camera and different things. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you like, check out my Twitter and if you want my Patreon, but also be sure to check out uh, Gina Holske's site uh, about Octoprint. I think she's doing a good job. Feel free to support her too. And in the meantime, I wish you happy printing and have a nice day, guys.